the lobby and the fantastic entrance that we've got here. Um, I think hopefully you guys can see that animation coming through. It's a, a great space um, and really good sort of uh, entrance to coming in um, and quite excited to have the guys show it through to you. Um, all right, let's stop sharing the screen and let's, um, let's get stuck into it. So first of all, uh, Colin, I can see you down there. Can we just get a close up? How much sweat have you got on your forehead and how hard was that? Dry as a bone, James. Dry as a bone. We, we, we can't hear you, Colin. Oh, hold on. Uh, can you hear me all right or not really? You can. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to put my earpiece in. That's why. Ah, very good. <laughs> so I was so excited <laughs> to get my Matt Shervington joke out that uh, yeah. I forgot to put my earpiece in. <laughs> you did say I was the smartest one in the room, but so, yes, yeah. yeah. Yep. Fair enough. So can you hear me now, all right, James? You yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Obviously, everyone else can hear you. It was just me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, James, dry as a bone, my friend. Dry as a bone. On the weekend after at last, can, can you hear me all right? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I worked out as much as I possibly could on Sunday. So I got myself all prepped and ready for the rundown and did it no problem. Not, not an issue right. whatsoever. So, so that's the difference between when you're on steroids versus um, a poor Aussie <laughs> like me just trying to do it tough. <laughs> Well, actually, to be honest with you, the difference is Albert, the alleyback driver. That's the difference. Right. Got it. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Um, all right. So, um, guys, where are you right now? Well, well, let me show you. Let me show you. So, James, you showed an amazing photo or, or render of the reception area. But I want to show you something you have not even seen. James, you are one of the first. Let me show you something really, really I'm proud of. See this? Can you see this? Oh, wow. You've actually got the stone in. Now, last wow, on... Fantastic. On Saturday, on Saturday, I showed just a bit of billboard. Today, very, very happy to show you the new feature wall. Now, James, as you know, as you know, we had absolutely none of this. It was just basic tile. Hang on, just so we're clear, we decided you tell me every day that I know nothing. Um, that is true. Now that is true. And this is a perfect illustration of exactly that point. Now, James, as you know, I didn't tell you about this, but uh, we engaged world-renowned designers, Rossi Lohman, to, to give me a bit of a hand. So I can't claim all of this myself, but one of the things that we did with Rocky Long, professionals in the space, is that we looked at the entire scheme and tried to say, what is contemporary today? What are people doing? How do we get materials into the space that look amazing? They're serviceable, they're resilient, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the things that we just fell in love with, and you probably did see it on the blog, uh, is this amazing marble. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And you can see it combines very, very well with our tiles. And what I've done, James, I've gone all out. Absolutely all out. You'll hate it when you see the build, but let me just show you. I have put stone on this wall, on this wall, wrapping all the way around, and I'll talk about this space in a second, but stone on this wall. We did that because, as you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. When someone walks into the space, they're going to see amazing luxury. They're going to see a really contemporary response to this development. So we're really proud of some of the changes that we worked through with Rocky Roman. Um, so, you know, we talk about it all the time about needing a theme. Um, yes. And are you sort of saying that what you've got Rothy's to do, and, and I, I know the answer to this, so it's a loaded question, but per, perhaps we're on the call. Um, you know, when we always say it's about a theme, that you've got yes. that consistent theme coming throughout all of these spaces and areas. 100%. Our fearless leader talks about themes all the time. So what we've done is we've actually brought that brass. And James, you featured some of those amazing brass elements within level nine. We've brought them into this space with a trailing brass detail up the stairs, uh, sitting right underneath our marble wall. The brass coming into this incredible brass reveal that will frame our commercial lift. And then so that Colin, is that, is that it? There's only one, one lift for everyone. James, calm down, please. please. I know you don't read the plan. <laughs> please. Uh, I'll, I'll take you there in a second. Let me just carry on a little bit with my theme, right? I want to okay. talk about the theme. So we've got this amazing brass detail coming so into on, this just, space. Sorry, sorry, Colin, just so we're seeing, Greg, Greg's showing us now, that's the view very similar to the, the inspirational picture I had going on before. 100%. Do you like the finish of the wall? It's beautiful. Uh, it's exactly to be honest like with you, it's, it's, it's a little average. All right, okay. All right, not a problem. Well, on these walls, we will be adding amazing cladding. These timber battens to look very, very, very much like, in fact, better than the renders that everyone saw. We've taken that theme, James, remember bringing that theme in yep. onto the reception desk. So we've upgraded the stone to the reception desk. So it brings in that dark marble with a fluted brass element. It's just going to look sensational. All right. And um, we showed uh, 
one of your fine building management uh, employees before. Um, yes. Where's he going to be? Can you sort of show us? He's going to be sitting behind that desk welcoming everyone. Well, after Cash picks up our dry cleaning and gets us lunch, he will be sitting here at this desk, ready, willing, and able to help every single person in this building. All right, great. Um, now, Colin, I've got, I got to know. One lift, was that it? All right, I'm going to try and take you there. Oh, I can't promise reception. It's a very big building. Okay, let me show you something exciting, Dan. Can you still hear me? Tell me if yeah, you lose me. Yeah, we still got you. I think you're Fantastic. okay so far. Here are our lifts. Now, it does not look like much, right? You're thinking to yourself, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, well, I'll tell you exactly what I've done. Right, we're, start, we're starting to lose you now. Maybe, Do you remember? maybe just pull back a bit. That amazing hundred stuff. Oh, hold on. We'll come back. We'll come back. Hold on. Hold yep. No, we got right, you I'll now. come back a bit. How's that? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. So, so you remember that amazing tundra stone that we put in the pool and that we added in, added in the sea room? Well, that tundra is going to be a main feature on the lift walls. We're going to then bring in that timber batten on those lift walls. And James, I don't know if you caught it because it was shaky camera. How many lifts did you see there, James? I couldn't see anything. Okay, well, fair enough. Well, it was, it was hard to see past your broad shoulders and biceps. Yeah, yeah fair, fair enough. Sorry. Uh, so we've got four lifts. And James, these are not little lifts, right? These aren't the same thing that you find going into one of those low-rise buildings. These are Schindler high-speed lifts. And when I say high speed, I don't mean one meter a second, two meters a second, three meters a second. These are four meters a second. They go from ground floor, 160 meters plus, all the way up through the building. And what that does is it limits traffic sitting there. It makes waiting times less. It means that when people are using the amenities on level 40 and 41, they're not sitting there for half an hour waiting for something to, yeah, they look to come to take them down the building. Yeah. And I guess that also helps, you know, in the, in the post-corona world where lift numbers are limited. Um, and so forth, having four lifts going all the way up is going to really mean that you can move around that building quick. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Um, I'm getting the mad wave from everyone here on level nine that we're going well over time. Um, is there anything else you wanted to show on this ground floor? Well, James, uh, it, it's probably one of those things that you're looking at. Tom, uh, how are we going to finish this, right? Now, this is yeah. Cousin Tom. Now, Cousin Tom's running away. <laughs> this is Cousin Tom. Wave, Cousin Tom. So, Cousin Tom's still here. It's, uh, what time is it, Dan? I don't know if it's 30 at night, something to that effect. No, 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 I'm just getting told to wrap it up, so it must be getting late. And, and, and he's working hard to make sure that we get these spaces delivered on time, ready for people to move in. And, James, as we talked about the other day, uh, this is the last cab off the rink. We want to make sure they're absolutely pristine. There's no damage whatsoever when people come in and move into the space.